This is Kent Mulgat with Kelowna Now, joined by DJ Kearney, a wine educator and a world wine expert. Tell us about this Judgment of BC. This is the fourth one. This is the fourth one, Kent. This is uh, a look at BC wines against some important global benchmarks. It's part of an, a young and evolving wine region. It's the work that we need to do to see how our wines measure up. And this year we're focused on two different categories of wine? Absolutely. So the fourth year we've tackled some grapes but we're looking at red blends uh, that are of the Bordeaux variety so Cabernet and Merlot and Cabernet Franc and Malbec blends and for the whites it's traditionally made sparkling wine so made in the champagne method um, but using a, an array of grapes. Anything from BC was was up for grabs. So how many BC wines are represented here? Mm -hmm. uh, each flight has six BC wines, so 12 in total, and they were whittled down from a very, very big group by an expert tasting panel, people who have very, very fine global and BC palates. So they did the pre-selection, and we came up with 12 to put against uh, international counterparts. That is quite a number of people you have around that room mm -hmm. uh, tasting. Uh, who, who's doing the judging? There are 39 judges, and they really are from around the world. We have the UK, we have America, we have Asia represented, we have um, many of our, our Albertan experts, and a very, very good core of BC wine judges. So I take it this whole event was inspired by this uh, thing that happened back in the 70s where a couple of California wines mm -hmm. surprised the world at the Judgment of Paris. The Judgment of Paris in 1976 pitted uh, California reds and whites against some of the best French wines in the world and the results were shocking. It was a really important moment in California's wine history. They uh, realized that they could make wines that could stand side by side with anything in the world. So we're having a little bit of that exercise ourselves. And, and now trying to demonstrate that BC wines too have a place somewhere on the world stage as well. Absolutely they do and, and we know it but when you taste the wines blind with this many judges with a lot of perspective and a lot of experience it's really meaningful. Terrific. It's not about win or lose or BC good or bad. We'll just learn from the results whatever they are. Fantastic. Thanks for this. My pleasure. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.